This is Radio Nepal. I'm Trilok Subedi with the news. Headlines first. Prime Minister Dr. Baburam Bhattrai calls upon the international community for support and cooperation in resolving the political crisis. Nepali Congress and CPNUML oppose the government's plan to issue an audience. And state of emergency declared in Western Burma following religious violence. <laughs> Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Dr. Baburam Bhattrai has said that Nepal faces a difficult situation following the dissolution of the Constituent Assembly and called upon the international community for cooperation in resolving the crisis. Addressing the invoice from 27 nations at his residence this morning, he briefed them on the latest political developments. He accused the opposition of rejecting the idea of identity-based federalism, forcing the Constituent Assembly towards termination. Mr. Bhattrai said his party made maximum efforts to save the Constituent Assembly for drafting the new constitution. He also expressed confidence and continued support from respect respective nations. He further said that he's working on building an environment for agreement among the political parties to conduct elections of the Constituent Assembly. Rastriya Janasakti Party Chairman Surya Badur Thapa has shown significant improvement in his health after suffering a heart attack on June 9th. Mr. Thapa has been undergoing treatment at the Norvig Hospital. He is reported to have talked to leaders of political parties and relatives this morning. Nepali Congress and CPNUML have opposed to the government's plan to carry out its works through issuance of an audience. A meeting between Nepali Congress and CPNUML leaders this morning has concluded that issuing an audience would be unconstitutional. Following the meeting between the opposition, party leaders met Pre President Dr. Rambaran Yadav at his office, asking to put the approval on hold until a budget through consensus is unveiled. UML Vice Chairman Bamdev Gautam said the government's plan to issue an ordinance, ordinance is an intention to capture power. Susil Koirala, Ramchandra Paudel, Prakash Man Singh, Krishna Prasad Sitola, Jalanath Khanal, Madhav Kumar Nepal and other prominent political fig figures were present in the meeting. Hospitals and drug stores in Siraha are facing shortage of saline drips throughout the district. The district health office, Siraha, has said the shortage of saline has put thousands of patients at risk. The patients are being referred to other districts for treatment. An earthquake with a magnitude of 4.5 rector scale has been reported in the Panchthar region near the border of Sikkim. The earthquake occurred at 10.20 a.m. this morning, according to National Seismological Center, Loinsor. You are listening to Radio Nepal, now some international news. Tensions is high in Burma's western Rakhine state after President Tien Sen imposed a state of emergency. Incidents of violence involving Buddhists and Muslims in the past week has left seven people dead and hundreds of properties damaged. Violence erupted after the murder of a Buddhist woman last month, followed by an attack on a bus carrying Muslims. A state of emergency essentially allows the military to take over administrative control of the region. Hundreds of demonstrators in Chile have clashed with the police after the screening of a documentary praising the former military government of General Augusto Pinochet. Police were attacked in several areas of the city center. Police used tear gas and water cannon to break up the demonstrations. Hundreds of anti-Pinochet demonstrators organized in groups continued to launch coordinated attacks in the center of Santiago hours after the screening at a theater. Defense officials from India and Pakistan are due to hold talks in the Pakistani city of Rawalpindi on the contested Siachen Glacier. The glacier is claimed by both countries in a territorial dispute, stationing thousands of troops. Pakistan's Army Chief General Asfak Pervez Kayani has recently said that both sides should pull out. His remarks came after 140 people, including 129 Pakistani soldiers, were buried by an avalanche in the region. The euro and stock markets have gained in Asia after a deal to support Spain's trouble banks eased concerns on European currency breakup. In Asian trade, the euro rose 1% versus the US dollar and Japanese yen. Stock indexes in Japan and Hong Kong rose to 2%. 
On Saturday, Eurozone ministers agreed to lend Spain up to 100 billion euros to help its banks. Analysts say the deal would buy time for policymakers to solve other problems facing the 17-nation Eurozone. Spain tied with Italy in a 1-1 draw in yesterday's game of Euro 2012. Ireland's prospects of progressing beyond the group stages suffered a blow in a 1-3 loss with Croatia. On today's match, England faces France and Ukraine takes on Sweden from Group D. And to wrap up, here's a reminder of the headlines. PM. You can also listen to us online at www.tradenepal.org.np. Stay tuned. Medium wave FM online prasad ma. Tapai sundey ununsa Radio Nepal. Radio Nepal ko yo prasaran FM band ko X3 megahertz ma ilam kaatmano.